Hey there, Aries. This is Renee, and welcome back. Let's see. I was going to go ahead and do the next 48 hours for you, but I, you know, Spirit led me to do the next three months. So we're going to go with Spirit. We're going to go with Spirit, okay? So we're going to choose some Oracle cards, and then we're going to take a look at what's happening for you the next three months, okay? So we have a fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. Okay, so there's some kind of uh, situation where there's going to need to be some kind of fair decision made in your situation. Um, and I feel like Spirit is letting you know there's no need to worry. Just, you know, go with the flow here because decisions are, made, are being made on your behalf, Aries. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and choose another card here. What does Aries need to know the next three months? What's going on the next three months, please? Okay, we have Conscious Consumer. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As, your con as a conscious consumer, you choose to invest your fair trade in your organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Okay, so Spirit is letting you know to, you know, use your money wisely within this next three months. You know, don't spend things on, uh, on things that, you know, don't have a purpose or are not really needed at this time. Okay, so watch those pennies because there's a reason why Spirit is letting you know to be conscious of your spending at this moment. Okay, we also have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So there may be someone who is, you know, in this blaming game with you um, in the next three months. There may be some kind of situation going on, but Spirit is letting you know to be vigilant. Okay, be vigilant of this, of these, these things that are happening. Um, because I feel like, you know, there's some kind of warning being said here. Okay. Um, so let's see. I'm going to get one more card for that blame. Give me one more card for that blame, please. <clears throat> Despondence. Okay. Yeah, there, there's someone not being very active, not really pursuing what they are actively wanting to pursue and they're kind of putting the blame on you they're kind of letting you feel like you're the one holding them back like you're the one that things aren't moving the way they're supposed to move at this time so and i feel like you know don't put that blame on don't accept that don't accept that aries because you know someone else can't put the blame on you for them not taking action that's not on you okay So let's go ahead and get some cards. Let's get into the tarot. What's going on in the next three months? First, we're gonna let we're gonna take a look at the things that you may be releasing, the things that you may be um, letting go of in the next three months. Okay. Okay. The Hierophant. Beautiful. Okay. The Ace of Swords. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is my stomach. Okay, so I feel like, you know, um, the next three months you're going to be releasing old beliefs. I need to take a drink. Thank you. Okay, in the next three months you're going to be releasing old beliefs. Those old belief systems that 
were maybe holding you back they weren't letting you get to the place where you need to be and because it's on here it may be old beliefs about money old beliefs about spending you know something that may have been instilled in you as a child you're now learning something different you're learning that those old beliefs are only holding you back they're not letting you move forward so i feel like those things that you're releasing are going to help you push forward it's going to help you create more abundance more um things that you want instead of things that you just need okay and i feel like you're you're becoming clear on the beliefs that you want to accept now into your life you you're becoming more clear on the things that are going to bring you prosperity and wealth you know you're no longer focused on those old beliefs maybe they told you um as a child you know money doesn't grow on trees or you know watch your pennies pinch a penny and you know little things like that but they may not have meant for that to hold you back but actually it really does because it's a feeling of lack it's a feeling that you don't have enough and if if you feel like you have to pinch a penny you're constantly going to be pinching those pennies you're not going to be circulating your wealth so that it comes back to you okay so you do have to spend in order to receive but you know you have to let go of that old mindset maybe money doesn't grow on trees but money flows from, to me effortlessly you know money flows to me every day money flows to me in unique and special ways you know and you know we need to get out of that mindset that those old beliefs are just holding us back from what we're capable of doing okay so that that's very interesting spirit thank you for thank you for bringing that out okay so that is what you're releasing in the next three months i feel like you're actively working on that aries i feel like you're actively working on setting new beliefs maybe you're researching maybe you're reading books about manifestation about you know creating wealth okay so i i, I feel like in the next three months you are really in search of some kind of new meaning okay so let's take a look at let's take a look at what may be challenging you in the next three months let's take a look at what challenges are going to come forward Okay, the Ace of Wands. Wow, lots of strong energy here. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so there's progression here. There's progression. There's some decisions that need to be made. Um, but I feel like you're, you're working forward with those. That may be this fair decision here. Some kind of fair decision needs to be made um, in the next three months. And I feel like you're coming to those conclusions and you're actively pursuing these. You're working on these. Maybe you're teaming up with someone to, you know, help this come forward. But I feel like what's challenging you, what may be challenging is actually making the choice. Making the choice for this new venture, for this new idea, this new uh, possibility here there's a new possibility that's unfolding and maybe you have to adapt to in order to make this decision to make it more acceptable for you you know I, I feel like you know you may be teaming up with someone or collaborating in order to you know bring this challenge through because I feel like there's some sort of there's some sort of struggle, but there's also a victory, okay? Um, there may be something that conflicts, but I feel like, you know, there's justice on your side here, okay, Aries? I, I feel like something is definitely going to work out, and you're finding the strategies that are going to work best for you. Um, so 
And I feel like that's something that you are actively working on in the next three months. That, you know, making these decisions, you may come to this crossroads and find that there's multiple, you know, paths that you that you may want to take. But I feel like there's there's one path that's gonna lead you in the destination that you're looking for. Okay, there's one true path. And I feel like you you may be coming to this, this decision with help, okay? Uh, there may be someone who kind of leads you along your path. Uh, someone who is collaborating, who's teaming up, who's working with you, okay? Um, but I feel like there's a lot of progression. There's a lot of advancement here. Very interesting so far. You know, this is my first three-month reading, so this is very interesting for me. Um, and I hope that you're enjoying it, Aries. Okay, give me an, give me what blessings are going to come out of this next three months. Tell me more about these blessings, Spirit. Tell me more about these blessings that are coming in the next three months. The Queen of Wands, ooh, the Page of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Wow. Okay, so you're going to be stronger in the next three months. You're you're making this progression. You're making this progression. You're finding your strength. You're finding your confidence. Um, you're walking away from those things that don't really feel right. You know, you're using that gut feeling to let you know that, you know, a situation may not be the right one for you. But I feel like, you know, you're gaining the strength. You're gaining strength in these new possibilities. And I feel like you are fearless. You're being confident. You're being aware. You know, you're adapting to your situation because you are actively pursuing you know, you're taking action. You're being assertive. You know, whether that means studying for a new position or, you know, um, working on something that is going to bring you a lot more passion, a lot more happiness. I feel like you are getting exactly what you deserve, okay? And I feel like new opportunities are coming to you. There's going to be some opportunities, some kind of gifts that are being made to you in the next three months that are going to put you into a better position. You know, um, the Queen of Wands, she's very confident, she's very fiery, but she's also very strong. So you have two cards here of strength, of confidence, of being aware, of being fearless. They're both fearless, you know. They they pursue what it is that they love with fearlessness. Okay? So I feel like there's a true sense of you knowing exactly what you're worth and going for it because there's an offer here that's being made some kind of offer some kind of opportunity that is bringing you a lot more confidence maybe also bringing you a lot more wealth and you know feeling aware okay so i feel like in the next three months i feel like you know you are becoming very strong very strong very fearless you have courage in um, the position that you're in. And there's this opportunity, this new opportunity being offered. Okay? And I feel like that's coming in very soon. We're going to get another deck to go ahead and clarify this blessing real quick. Because I want to know more about this blessing. Give me some more information about this blessing, please. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, something's going to become very clear. I feel like this is a lot of communication coming forward for you. But I feel like this is coming in very fast. This is coming in with the swiftness. Okay? And I feel like it's, it's something that you've definitely been waiting for. It's something that is finally coming into fruition. So maybe you have been manifesting this. Maybe you have been bringing this to life. 
with removing those um, limiting beliefs that you had dealt with in the past because this is something good coming in here you know this is you know the opportunity that you've been waiting for so I feel like there's going to be news within the next uh, three months some kind of opportunity that you've been waiting for is finally coming into fruition and uh, you're now able to take action and move forward with this, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get... See, we're going to go ahead and take a look at love, too. Let's see. The next three months in love. Okay, the next three months, there's going to be someone that you're letting go of. It may be this person that's constantly trying to blame you for their situation not getting better, but there's some kind of relationship that's over. But it's over in a way that's going to bring you into a positive light. I feel like, you know, you, you've kind of been waiting for the situation to be over. You kind of knew that it was at the end stages because it started to get so negative and I feel like you you're finally becoming free you finally are able to have that positive mindset that you were looking for because you have the freedom to do that now okay um, let's see what else do we have okay let's get some angel cards for Aries. Okay. See, we have this a sacred plan. Okay. So I feel like there's a plan of action that you're taking. You're you're creating a plan, maybe a plan for the future, maybe a plan for the next six months to a year. But I feel like you're creating a master plan here. And like see what we have here you're cutting the cords you know you're cutting the cords on those people that mean you um that they aren't accepting the person that you are you know you're cutting those cords on people who um don't have the right intentions don't have good intentions towards you so i feel like you know you're removing those negative things from your life in order to create more positive in your life to bring a positive action um to bring more positive things okay let's get another angel card for Aries. Yeah, we have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Okay? And we also have sacred vision. That goes with the sacred plan here. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all and remember that love has no boundaries. Okay? So that's beautiful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get a Moonology Manifestation card for you and see what's coming forward. Look at this. We can't make this stuff up. Focus on the positive. That's exactly what we've been saying um, the whole time. Focus on the positive. At the bottom we have trust all will be well. Okay? So, okay, now we're going to get an angel number. I've received these angel numbers not very long ago, and I'm really loving these numbers. These are beautiful cards. So I plan to use them. So if you are a, um active watcher, um, I, I feel like I'm going to be using these cards for a long time, okay? So we'll go ahead and choose an angel number by the end of the reading. Okay, let's get an angel number for Aries. Okay, we have 143, preparation. Life is filled with phases. The whisper is telling you to prepare for the unexpected. 
and allow change to pass through with a sense of peace. Financial and creative changes are upon you. Okay? Your affirmation, Aries. My dreams and desires are coming to fruition, bringing change that I welcome with open heart and mind. Okay? So that is your reading for the next three months. I feel like there's a lot of change going on and there's a lot of things that you're preparing for at this moment. But the key is to be positive, to stay positive in what you're doing. Okay? So Aries, um, if this reading resonates, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, if it doesn't, take a look at your uh, moon rising in Venus and, and that'll give you more messages. And until your next reading many blessings to you love and light